Hi, I'm Uncle Mark. Welcome to this video. I'm going to try and burp out all the air and add some new coolant to this engine. I just did an oil filter adapter housing cooler, I guess is what it is, on a 3.6 Pentastar. And didn't put this part in the video because it was a long video. I'll try and put just a head here in the link, just above uh, the top. If you look at the flashing yellow arrow, it'll bring you to that video if you want to watch it later on. This is the type of coolant uh, funnel that I bought. It's a special one. Never used it before. It's my first time. But you see it's got that plug in the middle so that if you uh, put too much coolant in your funnel, you can empty the funnel without making a mess. This kit comes with a bunch of parts too. I was trying to figure out which one's going to fit in here. I thought that maybe it had to be as wide as the hole. But only it really has to be... Uh, the, the seal just has to fit into the bottom which I found that out later. And then once you put the top on it, here, I'll take a closer look. See that seal there? It's just, it's big enough that when we squeeze it down, it's going to make a, a seal. So here's the top of it. It's going to go on top of that and push down, and it made a good seal. It didn't leak. And then you can just put the funnel into the top of that. And then air will come out. Coolant should go down when the air comes out. I thought it'll be that easy course no i'm glad i had this funnel because a normal funnel would not have worked as well as this did so let's get right to it so without running it i just started to pour some in figured well there's probably going to be an airlock but either way we'll get some coolant in it i'm just reusing the coolant but if you've drained yours out this might be a good time to put some new coolant back in Now, this way I know how much coolant I had in because I'm just putting back in the same amount of coolant that I had taken out. But I was quite amazed at how hard it was to try and put the coolant back in. As you see here, not a whole lot of coolant's been put in already. Because if you look at my big base in there beside, there's lots of coolant to go back in. Nothing really happening here. Of course, the thermostat hasn't opened yet. What I'm gonna do is put uh, the heater on high. This has got a right and a left. This one didn't have the back heater, but I'm gonna run them both on high so we can get coolant going through the, the heater core. Or if you have one in the back, the heater core see, has a lot of coolant that has to still go in. It's not doing much here right now. I'm just speeding up the idle a little bit. There's a bleeder screw on the water pump or on the uh, thermostat housing that maybe we're gonna have to play with. I did find that if I started squeezing this rat hose on top here, this helped a lot push out some air. But I see that only worked for a little bit, and we haven't added much coolant in yet, as you can see. Do a little bit of checking here again. Shut her off. Thought I'll take another look at it. Thought maybe we'll do a little more squeezing of that hose. And it is helping. Obviously some air is coming out, but there's still got to be a whole lot. This did help a little bit. So I guess what I'm gonna have to do is go to another plan here. A little more squeezing. A little more pushing out of the air. I'm gonna run it again. Add a little more of the coolant, because I know how much I gotta this rest of this pan's gotta go back in, right? Now I had this plus uh, some in a jug because more than would fit in the pan uh, emptied out. So we see more air coming out. Oh, there it's going down, down, down. I'm squeezing and then letting it go. So try and fill it up again. Hear the fan coming on. So the engine's actually pretty warm. We've got, I don't know, 
half the coolant that needs to be in here. Plus there would be some that wouldn't have drained out anyway, but I don't want to overheat the vehicle. So still, how do we get the rest of it in there? That was my question. There is a couple different bleed procedures. You've seen the first one where we can try, you know, where the, the thermostat is, that housing. But how do I get the rest of this out of there? One more start. We see it's hot. So try the same thing. A little more squeezing of the hose and that. You can only do so much of that and then we've got to go to another plant because it's just not working. Just not going back down. Now there should be a little bit that has to go back into the coolant bottle as well. No, oh, I got more of it. By doing the old uh, check this hose, check that hose. So we are getting it down. i try one more time here, see if any more air is going to come out of this. I can hear some. And of course, liquid should start coming out. I'm not opening it, you know, too much. I just want air to come out. I don't want to lose coolant. It looks like eh, we might be done here. This is where this funnel really shines. Of course, I thought we were done, but there's still a lot of coolant in the funnel, right? It's got to go somewhere. More air coming out. But not enough coolant going back in. So anyway, I tried it a few more times. Might not hurt to run it a little bit. You could run it and do this. You could. I figured I w didn't want this thing overheating though. Not really sure how much coolant was actually in the vehicle. Got a lot of coolant to go yet. So I figured I'll squeeze the hoses again. See if that's going to help. There's little hoses here too that go to your heater core. I thought, well, maybe there's air in there. Although if you run the vehicle and you can feel heat coming out of the uh, vents, then you know, well, obviously coolant's going there. Try a few more times. Nope, more air this time. Quite a bit actually. So you basically have the principle of it. It's basically going to be trying to get some more fluid in there, get some air out. Fluid, air, fluid, air. And no bugs. This bug must have fallen in when I had drained the coolant. I'm going to take this uh, engine cover off and maybe try those little hoses on the side there, massage them a little bit try that it didn't really do too much I thought well I'm gonna maybe take one of the hoses well maybe not completely off but just loosen it enough that I can get any kind of air out basically the same thing you're doing with your rad cap right so I'm not gonna pull it right off I'm just gonna pull it just towards the end there just till either we get a little bit of coolant coming out or some air take a listen Now coolant's coming out, so there's a teeny bit of air, it looks like. Put this back on. A lot of the newer vehicles do don't even have that bleeder screw that we've been playing with. So you almost have to go to the highest hose or whatever and try and do this. I guess all I can do is just continue this. Yeah, still a lot of coolant. Temperature is just in the middle there. Don't worry about that light going on. That was, turned out I had one of the hoses off from the job I was doing. Uh, it was a vacuum hose that was off. 
It's actually what I had done with this. Is this was the end of doing a, a video on putting a new oil cooler housing on it. A lot of them leak. This has got quite a few miles on it, so sometimes you rev it up a little bit too. You can get a little bit of fluid moving. And like I say, if you can feel in the vents there, if you got heat coming. Teeny bit of air coming out there, but nothing really, not as good as I want. So here, let's get back to this. Although it looks like a little bit did go down. This is very time consuming. You gotta have some patience here. Let a little more air out. It's hard to hear it if it's running. That's why I keep shutting it off. It's like, okay, the air is out again. Mm -hmm. so. What else can we do? We've got to be getting close, so, huh? That's one nice thing about this funnel. If I can, I should be twisting a little more as I'm pulling up gently. All of a sudden, I let go. Didn't get any on my face, at least. But it's kind of nice that, okay, I didn't lose a whole bunch of coolant. If that was a normal funnel, coolant would be everywhere. I'm just going to leave this funnel. I'm going to stand it up here in my little metal garbage can for now. Until we come back to it. I'm going to wipe this temporary uh, rad cap off. I'm going to put the new one back on. Probably go for a little cruise just around the block. I don't want to overheat it. Again. Oh, I can hear it. It's going down. Some more air escaping. Just hoping that if I jostle it a little bit, on, just you know, go around the block a little bit, and that's what I'm going to do. Literally going around the block. Watching the temperature gauge as well. Once I did that, it's like, well, the coolant bottle, the overflow bottle here, could use some coolant. So I'm going to, it should be a lot higher around there somewhere. So I'm going to put whatever I've got left in there. And actually, as the engine needs it, it should start sucking that in too. But I want to make sure between this coolant bottle and what I've taken out that I've get it all back in. And that's one nice thing about this funnel again too. I'll let it go. It drained in there by pulling the stop out. And I'm going to take that out, put a normal funnel in here, and I'm going to add a little bit more that I've got in this jug. And I think we're done. Well, that's going to do it for the video. It's basically monotonous, you know, over and over again. Bleed some out, bleed some air out, put a little bit of coolant in, let it run, make sure it's circulating properly. You saw the different ways that we did it. Make sure you've got heat coming out of your vents for sure. If not, you have a problem because then there's not coolant going through there. And just keep doing it till all the coolant is back in the engine. You have to remember, whatever you took out, that exact amount is going to have to go back in. If not, maybe a little bit more because you might spill a little bit as you do the bleeding process. You can give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video uh, you can also subscribe down in the corner as well if you haven't i will put a link now this was on a uh, 2015 i believe it was grand caravan with 3.6 if you have a caravan you may want more videos on one right here above the blue circle there's the flashing yellow arrow which will bring you up to the corner there a card will pop up and you can click on that and check out the playlist otherwise i think this 3.6 is going to be very similar in anything that uh, Chrysler has it sticking in right now. Yeah, they use it in a lot of different vehicles. Until next time, I'm saying uh, thanks for joining me for the last uh, few minutes. Uh, just take care if you're doing this job yourself. Otherwise, if you pay somebody to do it, you know that it's uh, not the easiest process to do. Until next time, I'm saying bye-bye for now. You and your family stay safe. Hopefully it's helpful. Uh, you can also check out uh, when you go to the playlist, uh, different, oh. <laughs>